We will also be replacing the chain, so you're going to need a chain. We're going to use some chain lube. We're going to use some pliers to get your um, your master link off. And a 13 millimeter wrench, um, wrench, a 11 millimeter wrench, and a adjustable wrench, so you can get your reel reel off and adjust your chain tensioners. I will be using some newest pliers if the uh, the pliers won't work. Your chain tool, so you can press your chain and remove and cut your chain, your old chain, so your new chain, and your torque wrench. Next, we're going to take the old chain and lie it out because we have the same ratio on the sprockets, so we're going to take the same length of this chain. And what we're going to do here, our new chain, and we're going to lie it out and see where we have to cut it, and we'll be cutting it with our DRC chain cutter. So we'll unpack our box. So in the package you'll get two stickers, your chain, and some rubber gloves to keep the job not as messy. Next we're going to open your chain. It's very easy. You don't need scissors or anything. Slide our chain out. It's all grease ready to go. And here's our master link right here. So now we'll Roll out our chain. So now we know we have to cut it right here. So we're gonna make our mark and we'll start cutting it right here. So next you wanna unpack your chain cutting tool. So I got this for um, $89.99. There's many other ones like Motion Pro and stuff. They're very expensive. Um, I got this one and people said it's very good. And it's not bad of a price either. Not that bad. You definitely wanna go like cheap. Not like I mean price cheap, but the way it looks. You definitely wanna go with quality when you see it. So it doesn't break on you when you're trying to cut your chain. So this one uh, comes with a manual built inside the package. So it tells you how to use it in English. So it tells you how to cut your chain, press your chain in two different ways. So press it and rivet it. And the same thing in Chinese. Here's our tool. I've had it unpacked before to put our um, tips in the, there's a little secret spot here we put your tips into. So I've unpacked it before, which I've just said. And there's our tips. And then our, if you need to press it, so rivet it, use this tip right here, which is, can be stored into here, and put it away. So we will be using the red one and if you look in the manual, sorry, we'll be using the blue one. It's for 520 chain sizes, so 520, 525, 530 for the blue one, and 420 and 428 for the red one. So we're using the blue one. Normally the chain is cut on the bike, but um, it'll be easier to show you how it's done from this angle. So the reason they show the two different tips um, is because, as you you can see, the blue one is thicker. So for bigger chains have bigger um, pins, so this will push out a bigger pin and this will push out a smaller pin for a smaller chain, and it won't have to go as far where this one goes further. So that's why there's two different ones. So make sure you use the, if you have a big um, chain for like a 125 or a 250, 450, you're going to use the blue one because it's thicker, so you can push the thick pin out. So you want to back this out until it stops or until it goes out. Put it back in. Like that. And then push this in here. Don't push it all the way in, you don't want to lose it. And then you want to back it back in until it touches your finger. Uh, right there is good. You can see it's coming out there. See? Back that out. Pretty good. 
Now we're gonna back this screw towards our chain until it's it's in our like stops at our chain at our pin, and then we'll tighten this to push the pin through. So we're cutting here. This is just my uh, master link for my the old chain. So this the old chain master link, and it's so uh, so bad the chain that I couldn't even get it out. So, but that we're supposed to cut it here. So it's supposed to look like this. Now you don't want to tighten this down too much because you don't want to damage your chain. So now what we do is just feed this in and we'll use our um, ratchet here and we'll ratchet the pin through. And you want to tighten it so you want to drive it in. So it goes to the other end before it falls out. There we go. So you'll feel it just like it becoming loose. You can see hand tighten it now. See? So now you know the pin's through, and there it is. Right there. There's our pin. I'd recommend keeping that just in case something happens. You want to back it out. And there we go. We cut our chain. So there's our piece. I recommend keeping the pieces, the O rings, so you have extra O rings. Can use this just in case something happens on the track. We always do a quick fix. And there we go, we have cut our chain. So our next step is now to uh, put it through our bike and put our press plate on. So like not press plate, but it's like it's our master link. We'll press this plate on and then put our, our clip through to keep it on. So do that next. Before applying the chain to your bike, you want to get your um, press your tool ready for pressing. So you're gonna want to put this end actually on your press. And this end goes in the back supporting it as you can see it's two like U's here and that's for the um, that's for your back so that it holds the chain so it has like a little room for your chain to go on and then this side so that when you push it up, your press fit on you can have some um, room for your pins to stick through so that you can slide your clip through which will hold your chain together And those are the chickens. So unpack your chain and we're gonna be feeding it from the top down and around. Now we'll put it through here. And 
as you can see it's perfect fit and we'll put our link through here so then we'll take your link out and pack your link once you've unpacked your master link you want to take two o-rings and put them on now so that you'll have two o-rings in the back and two o-rings in the front There we go. Now put on our chain. Put it through one side. So I'll be backing my tire a bit more forward. So not backing it, but I'll move it, be moving it forward because my old chain may have been stretched a bit. So I just can't get it in here. So I'm gonna loosen it and push my tire forward. So I've adjusted my wheel more forward and now just slides in easily there we go now put your o-rings on now your press plate make sure you put it on the right way if there's writing on it it should be good Perfect. so now we're going to press it kind of falls into place in the rear Keep this end in. Now, if you look closely, and we'll crop this, you can see that the gaps are there to let the pins through, as I said. Crop that. So, right there should be good. Don't want to over tighten this, so you don't want to crush your chain. You can see it going over the, the grooves back it off now put your clip on so you want to do it in the direction of drive with the round part so like it's driving so when you drive forward this part will go that direction so it doesn't get caught on the clips Let's it on, just like that. So next, you're gonna want to tension your your chain, so you can put something in it. I'll use a rag or something. Get it nice and tight, like that. Make sure your wheel's loose when you do that. Which pulls it back, so you know now it's there. Seems like I had have a good spot for that, so I don't really have to adjust much. Just, I'll just back that. So once you've adjusted your um, spacers, if, if you loosen them, they'll move back, and you can see your chain getting tighter. Went it nice and tight. Do the same on the other side and there's little markers on here and you make sure it's exactly on the same on both sides so you know your wheel's straight and now you want to tighten down your nut you just little wrench and um, there's a torque to it but you'll know when you do it a lot by hand so you'll find the right spot you know you don't overkill it you know so you see that so you don't over tighten and you're gonna want to retorque that after your first ride no, that should be good. Back that off. There's our chain. Lastly, you want to put your chain guard back on. And that should be good. Don't over tighten it. And that's your replace sprockets and chain on a KTM 125SX.
guys, thanks so much for watching my video. Please like the video, subscribe, share. Um, we've almost hit 5,000 views on one of my videos. We'll probably get 5,000 in a couple of weeks. Thanks so much. I'll probably be changing it up a bit. Um, so hit that subscribe button, and thanks so much. Remember to keep riding.